Welcome to round four of GT Asia. Which this week comes from Okayama, Japan. Fire, smoke, and drive through with the order of the day in round three at Okayama. Great racing, though. A star studded field of drivers and cars. It's an excellent racing. A few spins here and there. Coming out of it all. The Bentleys tried, so did the Ferraris, but it was McLaren. Hiroshi Hamaguchi winning at home, who alongside his teammate, Duyutsi, took their first win. We had a good consistency, the car behaved really well, and until the pit stop everything worked uh, fine. Um, thanks for all the mechanics and the team manager, managers and directors. Um, couldn't be here without them. Um, we're still trying to figure it out. Obviously it's a fuel fire. Um, we don't know what caused it. I snapped sideways and I went off and actually hit the wall. I fight with the, the understeer a lot, so I couldn't uh, bring the pace up. And so our car was at the wrong place. We had to re remaneuver the car to have to do the driver change. We uh, had some good clean racing, solid racing, uh, lots of fun. Fun times in Japan, but it's Liuzzi and Hamaguchi who take victory and put their marker down for this 2015 season, which is going to be one of the most competitive in years. On then to qualifying for round four. Perfect conditions once again for qualifying. And all eyes would be on the Aston Martins, the Bentleys and the Ferraris. Not a lot of time to qualify. Track temperatures of about 30 plus. And the odd spin, Anthony Liu getting it wrong there in the Ferrari. And leading the championship along with Davide Rizzo. Adelaide Fong of Hong Kong in the Bentley. Looking very ominous. Putting in some handy times ahead of Jonathan Venter of Australia. The Craft Bamboo Racing Aston Martin Vantage. Good battle for qualifying too. Darrell Young, of course, involved in that. Jeffrey Lee having a bit of a gravel moment in the Bentley, but recovers well. Likewise, Makino, the golf race in Japan in the GTM class, having problems. A lot of people beaching in. Fusong Yang, another man. McLaren getting it wrong in the number five. Hiroshi Hamaguchi getting up to third place overall just behind Venter, but the pole would go to the Lotus Formula One development man, Adelaide Fong of Hong Kong, who took the Bentley Continental GT3 to pole position, along with his teammate, Keta Sauer. It is more just trying to get the max out of the car, not do mistakes, and put a lap, uh, complete lap together, and that's what we managed to do. Uh, still a bit more to find in the pace, but we're definitely looking good for the race. And it could well be an interesting race with Adelaide Fong in pole position. Slightly windy, as you can see, but perfectly Good conditions for racing as we head to round four. There's a long way to go in this championship yet, but we've started to see that Bentley have come to win the series. Aston Martin are always strong. McLaren looked good this year, and Ferrari in fourth position at the start of this race are leading the championship with BBT. Here we go then. Adelaide Fong will lead them across the line. They have to do a compulsory pit stop. It's the gentleman driver starting first. And then the pros, they all spread out, but Bentley looks as though they've got the start. On board with the last time out, round three winner, Hamaguchi, who gets a little bit bolt. Two Ferraris in front of him, and they are fighting each other hard. That's the tie driver, Pitti, just losing out and getting bolted there. And Richard we the good start. Venter in second place behind Adelaide Bong. They head through the right-hander and down the straight for the first time. Fong Venter, Liu is your order. Then it's Richard Wee in fourth place, the rookie of the year last year. Hamaguchi fifth and Pity dropping to sixth. So Hamaguchi and Pity with work to do as the top three starting to pull away here into the right-hander at the end of the straight. On board again with Hamaguchi of Japan. Still fighting with the Ferrari. Pity loses out to Wee this time. Good to listen to the sound. Great drive from the McLaren as he comes alongside the tie driver and makes the position. That's great driving from Hamaguchi. But it's not over yet. PT coming back at him in the Ferrari. And the 458 may be an older car, but it's still very competitive as it's proved in Weck 
and the Tudor Sports Car Series in the United States. Next year, the 488 coming in. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes in comparison. Hamaguchi then, alongside We down the straight. And Hamaguchi carving his way through early on here. He's dispensed with both those Ferraris to go board with Pitti again, who loses out to the Aston Martin this time. So not a good start at all by the tie driver in round four. Hamaguchi, though, is off to the races, up to fourth place now. Liu in another 458, just ahead of him on the road. Liu chasing Venta, the Australian, with Adelaide Fong. And you can see the top three there. Hamaguchi just in the distance. And Frank Yu in the Aston Martin just holding off. Pitti in eighth position. Jeffrey Lee just behind them in ninth. And it's Delango racing in the Lamborghini. So a good clean start. Perfect conditions for racing. We had some rain on Friday, but uh, that has gladly gone away. Richard Lyons watching on. He'll have me in this second stint. Two drivers for most of the cars, and pretty much 90% are two driver entries. There are the odd solo entry. They still have to do the compulsory 75 second pit stop. And that always adds a little bit of drama. Round three was pretty much decided by a pit lane infringement when the leaders, Andy Suchek and Jeffrey Lee, were found to be speeding in the pit lane. There is Andy coming in for the first time. Here's another look at the start. Good clean start. And Anthony Liu getting away very well middle of the pack there in the all red and yellow Ferrari. You can see it's pretty tight in there. Good start from PT there on the inside. Comes alongside the number 37. Can't quite get past. Good driving though by these gentlemen drivers. There's Darrell O'Young. There's Richard Lyons again. Craft Bamboo team getting ready. Fong then, Venter and Liu. And remember Anthony Liu and Davide Rizzo, the Italian, leading this championship at the moment. While it is only the fourth round, we're already starting to see a pattern of consistency by that Ferrari. Get a sour, waiting for his turn. Keto, of course, really enjoying racing at home in Japan. And also, so too, Aoki. Jeffrey Lee makes his move in the Bentley on Malagamur, the former champion of GTs from Sri Lanka. Ioki, he's responsible for bringing Ioki into this team, Delango Racing. He used to race the same meetings. Delante in 125s, and of course, Ioki, the big 500cc man. Now they have to wait a certain amount of time for the pit stop window and they have to pit within that window and it's critical to the race as we saw in round three. Traffic can be an instance whereby you make a decision to come in perhaps earlier and you're stuck in traffic and it looks as though Delantha's come out to play to get that uh, slightly older Gallardo closer to the back of that Bentley. The Bentley Continental GT3s have proved to be both nimble and able to be as wide as you like. Not easy to pass at all, but a big year for Bentley here in Asia, as it is for McLaren. And I think that's the beauty of this GT Asia Championship, is that the best drivers, Jimmy Bruni, Ferrari, Tony Vlander, Duncan Tappy, of course, you'd see winner last time out for McLaren. Lee, Malagamua and Xiang, back of this group. I felt sorry for Jeffrey Lee and his teammate Annie Suchek, of course the factory driver from Bentley, who only had four days notice before he came out here. Like I said, all the top drivers from the sports cars, GT cars, from around the world coming to compete in this championship. So Asia becoming a hunting ground for these marks to establish themselves. So they're bringing their very best drivers to contend here. Whoa! And that was a big moment, and it's got even worse. 
as Brown goes for Bentley. Jeffrey Lee gets it completely wrong. And he's taken Malagamua with him. Well, the Sri Lankan will be absolutely distraught with that. No fault of his own. Jeffrey Lee smashed up that beautiful Bentley as well. And it was all his mistake. He was just too hot into the right-hander. And that's brought out the safety car. It certainly changed the complexion of round four for sure. I'd like another look at it because, well, there goes Delanta Malagamua. Shuji, the happiest guy in the paddock, but he won't be too happy there. Duncan Taffy saying, are we out? What are we doing? Safety car out then. And this means now that the professional drivers will really be on their toes. Here's what happened. He goes into the right-hander just a little too hot, spins out the back, can't control it, stay, tries to stay in, and didn't work. Everybody taking avoiding action, but Malagamua had nowhere to go. And also, maybe a little bit of damage also to the Lamborghini behind. Jeffrey Lee comes in and retires. The Bentley team for absolute racing. That's an absolute disaster. So then, here we go again for the restart. Round four, hanging in the balance now. And a chance for those chasing the Bentley to get on level terms. Pit window is now open. Is anybody going to go straight in? No, nope, they're going to give it a lap. Fong then. Adelaide Fong of Hong Kong leads Jonathan Venter of Australia. Anthony Liu of China is in third place at Hamaguchi in four. The four of them are a long way ahead of the chasing pack. In comes Frank Yu in the Aston Martin, the number 88. The Vantage V12 goes up on the stands. Everybody coming in now. So, it's rush hour in the pit lane. Got to concentrate, got to watch the clock. Got to make sure that the driver gets in and out and gets the belts done up correctly. And away they go. Good close race this between the top four. Really nothing to it. Amaguchi there in fourth place. Could as easily be leading this race. But Adelaide Fogg desperate for a win. Not the easiest of starts to the year. Likewise, Jonathan Venter's had an up and down time. They had a win in Korea. And you're happy you can start the car? Liuzzi, uh, patiently waiting, uh, helmet on. And will our leader, Adelaide Fong, come in? No, staying out. Venter's chasing him round. Meanwhile, there's a host of others all coming out now. Will they affect the leaders? No, they're just going to go through just in time to turn one. Critical lap then for Adelaide Fong. I don't think traffic's going to be an issue. Ventus keeping him honest, that's for sure. The pair of them now pulling away at the front. In comes Liu. And Davide Rizzo will take over. Liu Tsi will take over in the McLaren. And now the superstars are in the cars and we're going to see some real fireworks, I'm sure. Little bit of traffic up ahead for the Bentley and the Aston Martin. I don't think it's going to affect them though, and I think we'll see Adley Fong coming into the pits this lap. Out goes the number 55. Lutzi at the wheel, winner of round three. Davide Rizzo just ahead of him in the 458 GT3. Well, he's got out just in front of both the Aston Martin and the Ferrari. Out comes! Oh, it's tight. Liuzzi almost clipping the Bentley. And Fong holding on to that lead. Liu out of the car. And Venter on warmer tyres and up to speed. Desperate to get past. Oh, and another spin. It's one of the golf cars. And hopefully he'll be able to get that out of the way and we won't have another safety. But it's Fong, Venter, Griffin in third place. Still waiting for the leaders to pit so we can get a clearer indication. Obviously, Liuzzi had a place there, but Venter still doesn't want to be behind him at this stage. He is chasing that Bentley. Both the Bentley and the Aston Martin still have to pit. Amaguchi has done his work, and now he's leaving it all to Liuzzi. Matt Griffin in the Ferrari, fresh from his Le Mans outing. Lions, of course, Mr. Experience here in Asia. The Irishman, part of the championship last year. Really enjoying it as well. 
Sports competition level has raised year on year. And I think that has just encouraged more drivers to get involved. Jonathan Venter is one of those talented drivers. And he's coming into his pits for Craft Bamboo Racing for his pit stop from second place. Darryl o Young, probably Asia's top driver of the last few years. World Touring Cars, Porsche Carrera Cup, GTs and Le Mans. Griffin now third and Lyons chasing him down. Matt Griffin in the Ferrari 458. Two of the most experienced GT drivers you could ever look for, battling it out on track. And Davide Rizzo and Anthony Liu just behind. Here comes the Aston Martin. Nice manoeuvre by the number 88. And through goes the Aston Martin of Richard Lyons. Nice, strong pass on Matt Griffin, but no argument there. I'm listening on the radio, here's another look at it. Came from quite a long way behind, but that's a classic overtake. Nogiyama, really nowhere for the Ferrari to turn into, except the Aston Martin. Way goes Darrell O'Young in the VLT Aston Martin. And Darrell O'Young's now starting to have a long association with Aston Martin worldwide, both at Le Mans and, of course, here in Asia. Craft Bamboo, a combination of Craft and Bamboo Racing, very potent indeed. And Audi comes in good time too. Adelaide Fong is into the pits, and now we will see where this race pans out. Fong will hand over the car to Ketasawa. It doesn't quite hit his marks, but he should be okay there. No penalty for that, as long as he's not too far off it. But the question of the race is, will Ketasawa get out before this man comes round? Darrell O'Young looking to take the lead in the overall race. Lions now up to third place in the number 88, Aston Martin. So we've got Aston Martin second and third. Ketasawa is in, in the number eight. Bentley, very efficient team. Here comes the 99, it's Aston Martin against Bentley. Two brilliant British marks to world-class drivers. Away goes the number eight. And this must seem agonizingly slow and he's desperate to get out. Coming into the last turn comes the VLT. Aston Martin creeping slowly down the pit lane. It's gonna be touch and go, but the Bentley's got it. Sauer comes out of the pit lane and takes the lead ahead of O'Young. So, Adelaide Fong did a brilliant job of handing the car to Sauer. Sauer's got away well. Good work by the Bentley team. Paddy Roberts there, as short as ever, but look how close it is. Because of course, Sauer not up to speed yet. Those tyres not fully warm yet. And Darrell O'Young is charging hard. He knows, Darrell, that this is his opportunity to win the race. Bumper to bumper, Bentley versus Aston. Sauer's got to be oh so careful not to make a mistake. You can see he's pushing as harder than he wants to. This is rattling the Japanese. But he'll soon be up to speed and he'll get his composure back, I'm sure. Onto the main straight. And Sauer has actually gapped himself just a little bit over Darrell. That's helped him just calm it down a little bit and find his lines. Anthony Liu watches on. Great racing here in Okayama for round four. Perfect conditions. Lions still third. Griffin just ahead of Rizzo. Todd Pitty in the Ferrari going through on the McLaren of Liuzzi. In the Singer sponsored car. Doing some testing between the races and certainly paid off. But we've got an almighty battle for the finish because Lyons is caught up in third place. Griffin and Rizzo still going at it. Thumbs up from the team. But that could change. Richard Lyons is going to push Darrell O'Young all the way to the end. Cracking battle between these two. They've raced each other many times before. But Lyons wants pass, and look at that! Audacious pass from a long way back, and I think that caught Darrell out just a little bit because I didn't think he was close enough, but he made it stick. And that was superb racing. Can Darrell O'Young pop back at him? They've got equal cars. Well, that was just a great overtake from a man who probably knows the track just a little bit better than Darrell O'Young. Didn't 
race here in 2014, the GT Asia Championship. And the clock ticking down on this one. As Carlo Van Dam putting a lot of pressure. To go on board. He's all over the back of Rizzo in the number 11. Former Japanese Formula 3 champion, if I'm not mistaken. Certainly knows Japan very well indeed, Carlo. So, can Lions do anything? Pretty close. And so too is Carlo Van Dam, but it's all going to end in a moment. So, it's a last chance here in Okiyama. Over the rumble strips, you see how hard he's pushing. Great onboard shots. Onto the main straight again. The Ferrari in front uses all the track and more. And here we go, this is going to be the finish. Kenna Sauer trying to hold off the Irishman, Richard Lyons, who does another manoeuvre up the inside, and he gives a little bit far to make it stick that time. And Sauer, depending as hard as he can in the number eight. Great racing from the Japanese. Kenna Sauer, Ooh, now they've got the 34, that's uh, Aoki. The GTM class, Murata and Aoki. Let's hope they don't uh, get in the way of this fantastic battle. Last lap, last chance. Lions doing everything he can. The Lamborghini could be a factor, but I don't think they're close enough. Just one more corner to go for Keta Sauer. Comes out of that last corner. The Lamborghini gets out of the way. Woo! And Adelaide Fong and Keta Sauer win in Japan. And what a weekend, and what a time at Okiyama it's been for the Japanese. Hamaguchi winning round three. Frank Yu delighted for Kraft Bamboo on the podium. But that's a very, very important victory for Ketasawa of Japan. And of course for Bentley with that victory. Lions and Yu in second place. Venter and O'Young, then Griffin and Wee. And Yu and Rizzo in fifth place. And that'll help their championship more with Van Damme. Biron Bakti in sixth position. So a little bit of history as Sauer and Adelaide Fong, who go to find each other, create a bit of history by taking Bentley's first win. Sauer son, congratulations. Uh, first victory for Bentley. Uh, first victory for you with the team and uh, here in Japan. You must be very happy. <laughs> yes. Uh, now I cannot say anything uh, because. Uh, yeah, here's uh, home ground, and uh, uh, for me, first time win with uh, Bendri. So, so many guests from Bendri and uh, my sponsor come to watch this weekend. And uh, yeah, here, especially for me, it's a memorial circuit because uh, when I was start the car racing in uh, 1998 uh, with the Formula 4 car, I, I got the championship here. Uh, three wins in a row, and the last is the one point different to get the championship. So, uh, uh, really emotional today. I'm very happy to be able to, to win here, to win with Sawa, especially for him, his, his home race, the sponsors are here. So, yeah, fantastic weekend, and on a sunny day to, to win a race is beautiful. Quite understandably, a very emotional Ketasawa wins at home. 20 years of coming to this Okayama circuit. This is where it all began for him. And now he's winning for one of the biggest factories in the world. Bentley Continental GT3 winners in GT Asia. That does their championship hopes no harm either. With four rounds gone, here's how it looks. Liu and Rizzo still leading the way with 57 points. Adelaide Fong, though, and Keda Sauer now up to 45. Three ahead of Venter and O Young. 37 points for Frank Yu and Richard Lyons. And PT is 34 points in ninth position. In the team's championship, Kraft Bamboo lead the way with 80 points, but just two ahead of Bentley Team Absolute with 78. FFF Racing third with 58. Pretty good tight. Job. There's so a long job. way to so go good still. Good Weekend belongs surely to this man, Keta Sauer. The emotion says it all. He'll savour that one for a long time. Well done to Bentley as well. 
plenty of action and drama from this Okiyama circuit. And once again, GT Asia giving us some superb racing, world-class racing. This championship in 2015 is going all the way to the end. Well done again to Bentley. Yeah, on the Sour side. and Adelaide Ford. Me, Jonathan Green. Until next time, goodbye for now.